Hi all, welcome back to MATLAB tutorial on Tube Fulcrum. This session is on the object oriented programming in MATLAB. The object oriented programming in MATLAB is similar to many conventional programming languages like Java, Python, etc., except the syntax. The important feature of object oriented programming is it enables you to combine data and its associated actions into objects. Let's see the object oriented programming features supported by MATLAB object, class, abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, and inheritance. In this session, we'll be discussing about objects and classes. Let's dive into some examples to understand these concepts better. Let's begin by understanding what a class is. It's a template or like a blueprint that's defined by a user using which the objects are created. And the class consists of a set of attributes and methods which are used for object entities. So let's see how we create a class in MATLAB. Use the keyword class def. Now, after this, specify your class name. Let me call it as multiplier. That's we are going to build a class that is going to perform the multiplication of two numbers. Now, we are going to add the attributes of a class and the attributes of a class are defined in properties block. So within this block, you can add the attributes of the class. So here we are going to find the multiplication of two numbers. So let me add two attributes here. Let me call it as value one and value two. So once you have added your attributes, you need to terminate the same using the end statement. Now let's add some functions or methods to the class. So this should be enclosed within the methods block. Now here you can define the function. So let's add a function that is computing the product of two numbers. So function res, that's the output variable equal to let me call it as mul and let it take an argument and let me call this argument as obg. Now what is this function doing? It's computing the product of two numbers and which are the two numbers here? It is nothing but the attributes of a class. So in order to access the attributes or the members of a class, we need to have an object to the class. It's only through the object that you can access the members of a class so i'm going to access these members value one and value two through the object of the class and this obj is going to work as the object of the class how we create the object how we instantiate the class by creating the object we'll see in a minute so let's say res is equal to obj dot you have to say value one it's a product, so into obj dot value 2. We are done with the function, so you need to terminate the same using end. Function is terminated, now you need to terminate the methods block. After that, we are going to terminate the class using the end statement. So we are done with the creation of the class. So we need to save this. So when you are saving, make sure that the file name is also having the same name as that of your class. So now we are going to instantiate this class by creating an object. So let's take another file or you could directly give it within the command window. So let's try using the command window. So you have to call the class or you have to instantiate the class so we need to have an object so specify your object name i'm using here as obj you could use any name equal to specify your class name that is here we have used the class name as multiplier now this obj is now going to act as an object of the class multiplier 
So you could see here multiplier with properties value 1 and value 2. So value 1 and value 2 at present do not have any values. That is why it's shown as empty. Now you have to initialize the values to the same. How will you do that? obj dot value 1 equal to say 10. obj dot value 2 equal to let's say 20. So now we have to invoke the function of the class or the method of the class. How do we do that? So it's like the normal way how you invoke a function. So our function has an output variable. So when you invoke the same, you should use a variable to call your function. Now your function name that is mul, it takes an argument. So we are passing the object as an argument. So with respect to this object obj, it has two values, value 1 and value 2, which is initialized with the values 10 and 20. So this function is going to get you an output 200, the product of 10 and 20. So this is how you work with classes and object in MATLAB. So more about the object-oriented programming features we'll discuss in the coming sessions. So keep watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe and please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You'll get notified whenever we upload a new videos. Thank you.